Hello everyone, welcome back to Salty Adams Reviews. On, on tonight's episode, we are going to be reviewing two products. A grappling hook slash gravity claw. And this, and this uh, axe shovel multi-tool. I believe it was an axe pickaxe multi-tool. First, we're gonna start off with this. First of all, let's take off all the covering. Here is the head. As you can see, it has an obviously has an axe head, and it has the head of the back half of a pickaxe for digging and such. And not only does it have that, it has these. Um, it has these uh, screw. I forgot what these are called. I believe these are like a screwdriver thing, like a bolt thing, uh, as you to tighten it. And what else? And uh, since it is a multi-tool, so every part of this object item. Is removable so that you can add extensions to the handle or ext extensions to the handle to make it either longer or shorter or add in tools. Let me show you what I mean. So here's the first part which is just a handle and under that handle you can attach this knife part. Uh, this knife is actually just not, it's good enough for cutting uh, so you'll probably want to sharpen it more uh, so you can actually get like a better cuts on certain items. It even has this nice uh, backwards saw bit right there. It's a double ended so that it there's it's a double end so you can easily do that so you can have a little bit more cutting grasp uh, like wood cutting uh, wood saw. <laughs> Sorry, this one's on my TV. I'm trying to take that off. Now, if I remove this part, also safety first, where I really want to throw, so you're gonna handle it. Part one. Actually, I'm gonna keep it off for a reason. Empty handle, and right here is a. Whistle is a fire starter, but not only that, which can screw on to this, a whistle. Very useful in a situation where you need to be heard, but you, for those who don't know, if you're in a, situ if you're in a survival situation and you need to be heard, you do not want to scream and yell. You want to save that. You don't want to throw out your voice. You want to use a whistle as a whistle is a lot, can easily be heard, it is much more heard than just screaming because the woods will be able to dampen that. And under that is this end. It is a, obviously, a glass breaker end. Uh, I don't even need to explain that. Uh, but not only that, this is a bit. Let me show you. As you can see on the inside, there is a compass which is obviously very useful and handy where you need to be able to see where you look are. So in order, here is all of the items. Protective sheaths, the head, uh, the axe head, with the pickaxe back end, the compass bot, the fire start, the fire starter, the whistle, and the glass breaker, uh, the, some two extension, uh, two handles, a handle and a knife part, and that's it for this. Now, next up is the gra is the grappling hook and gravity claw. Let me fix this up real quick. Sorry. Obviously, you want to use uh, so uh, from, uh, currently right now it has some attached rope that came with the product when I ordered it off Amazon, and it uh, from uh, I actually used this to climb up a tree, and this can hold up to two hundred pounds. This is about a 200 pound rope. I believe it's about 25 feet, maybe a little bit more. I don't exactly, I didn't, forgot to check. I believe this definitely isn't 50 feet. I believe it's like 25. It, so obviously if you don't know how a grappling hook works, it's throw it up, 
gets caught on a few the te the limbs get uh, caught on a few items so that it holds on but, but obviously it's better if it goes if it goes around an item goes around an item so that there is rope for support then you will so when you pull it will okay right here so when there so when you pull not only is there the metal but there is a rope bit holding you up this will create a nice tight grip but not only is that but not only say you for somehow lost or broke the end of this uh, do not worry for it is actually still usable if you do not have the part that will make a grappling hook as a gravity claw for those who do not know how a gravity claw works it works like this once put up to the pressure of an item it will open it will open up sorry Let's try grabbing a few of these items. It, it's a lot harder to do one-handed trying to record than it is trying to use both hands. There we go. See? It's actually actually it, it's actually good enough to hold on to a quarter. Let me go get a quarter real quick. If you ever see ads for these products, you'll often see it being able to pick up a quarter. So let me show you that. Okay, I'm just going to show you. As you can see, it actually has enough. It can actually hold on to this quarter decently well. Decently well. Me holding on to it, it's not really helping it. Oh, what did it just grab? Oh, see? This is how it can work. It actually holds up a pretty decent amount of weight. As you can see, that is currently the, that is both items. And I will give you my review, my thoughts on both of them. I think both of these items are very useful, in my opinion. This can definitely help you hold on to certain objects or climb up a small hill. I definitely would not, I would not, tr I, like I said, I did use this to climb up a tree, but these were extremely small trees, no more than about 10 to 20, 30 feet mostly. Uh, so I definitely, if you obviously get more of a, proper big one if you're going to try going up anything higher and get some better quality rope because I well certain rope certain climbing rope is about this thick so I uh, get the get rope that you trust and get the proper harnesses rather than just trying to climb up a tree yourself I definitely will find this useful and definitely I believe they do make bigger size of these so that if you want to try to say get a bigger one so that you will be able to trust it more you can do that, and now it will have a bigger claw, which means you can hold on to bigger items with much more ease. And my thoughts on this. I will. I highly recommend this item. I got this off Amazon for like, I believe, 20 to $30. I forgot. And the reason... Oh, ow. Oh, boy. Oh, I actually got myself right there. Okay, that's not important. I definitely would recommend this product as it has definitely some versatility to it. Such as the axe, the axe is definitely, it's definitely good for using just small chop, uh, you won't, you're not gonna be chopping anything big, but definitely good for enough for chopping some small objects. And obviously the fire starter and the whistle veil will, will be very good in a, in a pinch. Uh, also, if you need to dig a small hole, uh, and you don't have a shovel on you, but if you have this, you can actually use the end for a pickaxe. 
start digging your way out of an attic and digging a small hole for a fire so it's easily more easily controllable not only that but this will keep every the bottom more secure so you find an area where you need to break glass for some reason i do not condone arson <laughs> i mean breaking and entering but i definitely would recommend this item so if you get a chance to see this on amazon i looked up uh survival gear i believe survival axe oh but, oh lord i'm bleeding a lot more than i should be Uh, I would recommend buying this if you can, but if you see, uh, but if you have, if you prefer not to, I, you don't have to buy it, obviously. I would recommend buying it because I definitely have a few uses for these. And I say if you can get more to this item, more bang for the buck, such as you could get a few extra poles and make it a small spear, I would say go for that so that you can make it a lot more versatile, a lot easier to use uh, a little bit more usefulness such as i've never seen like a survival cane uh, which you could use as a small spear but this is definitely a nice handy object if you only had one this would be like a if you had one odd if you had like one item it's actually one handle it's actually like designed for that but if you for you can even use but say you're in a pinch you can't take it out but this is almost thing you can use it as a small knife for defense but obviously you probably want to use an axe for defense for animals a knife would be like last resort but i believe this is small enough where you could use it as a skinning knife but there's obviously you want to get a proper knife for that a proper skinning knife for that so sorry thank you for joining me on this episode of salty adams reviews um i'll be making one more video for tonight Thank you all for joining. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video because that will that will extremely help uh, this channel grow, uh, so that I can review more fun products. Also, I have some news. I will try to be filming some videos of firearms. Uh, I am not old enough to own a firearm. I do not have a Floyd card. I this will be under adult supervision. Uh, with this will be under adult supervision with people who do have a Foyd card, who do properly own firearms. So, big disclaimer on that: do not do anything with firearms if you are not properly told to how to do it. I have been taught how to properly handle a firearm. So, be excited for those videos because those are going to come out soon. Because I'm going to have some very very interesting firearms to fire soon for a video. I oh, I might not be firing them, but it'll be a very good friend of mine. Have a great day now, y'all. Take it easy. Salty Adams Review, setting out.